Okay, let's start by opening Visual Studio Code. Then let's open the command line. CMD. Type that. Open the command line. Usually opens it right on your home directory, right where you want to be. So you move that over there so you can see them both. You'll notice that when you go to your home directory, you should have a directory beneath it called git. And then inside of there, you should be able to have your repository. If you don't, you type git clone https, you know, github, uh, you know, whatever it is that your URL is. But we've got that one. So we go ahead and go in there. And then we type dir. And we can see there's at least a few files in it. I'm going to type cls to clear the screen. I'm going to come over here and I want to go to the same directory. So I do file, open folder. I go to my home directory. Now hopefully yours is a little less confusing than mine. I think we'd already discussed the matter that we prefer the details view. So when I go File, Open Folder, and go here, I should be seeing the Details view. And then with the Details view, you can find the Git directory. And inside of there, you can find the directory that contains your code. So you open that. <coughs> Then you close this welcome screen unless you want to look at it. You open the readme file. You type hello test and you save that. Then you come over. I use that alt tab key to get over here and I type get status and it shows me that the readme file has been modified. So I type git add. Now I can type either git add readme to add that specific file or git add period to add all the files I've changed. In this case there's only one file but had I changed 10 files this would be convenient because it's better than typing git add readme git add foo.html git add bar.html. It's simpler to just type git add period. Then I type git status and I can see that now my readme file has been staged. Okay, so I like that. I'm going to type cls just to clear the screen again. And now I'm going to type git commit dash m updating readme. And I press enter. I type git status and then I type rather than effectually I type git push and that pushes my work. If it were the first time you'd push that day you, a little dialog might pop up and ask you to type in the username and password. Maybe no, yes, maybe no. So then we can go up to our repository and you can see before here is what my readme looked like. And if I look at it now, you can see that it contains the changes I made. So this trick was to come here, add a change, period, come over here, do git status, git add my readme file, or git add, period. Well, I think maybe can't we do a little better here? What if I do that? Then we can see at least a little better. And I'll do git add period 
then get status and now you can see the file has been staged get commit another change get push and then if I come up here and refresh my screen I can see the change has been pushed okay I won't belabor this further.